A Wish to Be a Christmas Tree by Colleen Monroe, illustrated by Michael Glenn Monroe. Every year as traditions go, they get in their cars at the first sign of snow and head to the farm at the edge of town to cut the family Christmas tree down. As Christmas neared, the trees rejoiced, for families would come and make their choice which trees would go and which would stay. Oh, please pick me, the trees would say. Take me to your home, said the fat scotch pine. Dress me with bulbs and lights, said the fur so fine. They all were excited except for one. He knew that his days of being picked were done. I've seen my sisters and brothers, daughters and sons, grandkids and great-grandkids pick one by one. I'll never be taken home. I'm too big and too tall. His sobbing and crying made his pine needles fall. <laughs> A little squirrel was wandering by and stopped to hear the big tree cry. Take heart, my friend, and don't you fear. To many of us you are so dear. Your branches keep us safe and warm. You are our shelter from the storm. A cardinal flying by chirped in. You are my safety from the wind. Said a white-tailed deer who was walking through. Cheer up, big friend, because I need you. Your needles give me a nice soft bed, a place to lie down and rest my head. These things you say to me are kind, but nothing can really change my mind. All my life I wanted to be someone's special Christmas tree. With that, he drew his branches in and closed his eyes to dream again and wish that someday he would be more than just a great big tree. Fast asleep and dreams far away, he did not hear the little squirrel say, You will be a Christmas tree. Let us decorate you for all to see. Come gather round, the little squirrel cried, to woodland animals both far and wide. We need to act without delay to end our great big friend's dismay. He is our friend, this wonderful tree. And do you know where we would be without the special things he gives? I don't know how we all would live. Without ever complaining, he's given these things, yet never knowing the joy that he brings. Offering friendship from the very start, never once revealing the dream in his heart. Everyone should bring a treasure so our giant friend can measure the love for him that our hearts hold, the feelings that we never told. Each animal came with gifts to bear, over ground, through the trees, and some through the air, with acorns, icicles, and berries so bright, they worked and trimmed into the night. The crows searched their nests full of shiny things, hoping to find the perfect present to bring. There among their treasures, found from afar, was the most beautiful, bright, shining star. His woodland friends decorated him with special things hanging from every limb. Acorns were dangling off branches strong. Berries were strung as a garland so long. The first morning sun brought a wondrous sight as icicles glimmered and captured the light. Colorful birds perched all over the pine, as beautiful as bulbs and just as fine. Blue jays as blue as a crisp winter day. Carnals bright red perched near doves soft and gray. The birds were singing so soft and clear, their most beautiful songs for the pine tree to hear. The big tree stirred and opened his eyes, and what he saw was such a surprise. You have made me beautiful for all to see, and now I am a Christmas tree. You are more than just a Christmas tree, they said to him. Why can't you see? You are special to us every day of the year. We would be sad if you weren't always near. We're glad you stayed with us all these years, but we're sorry that it caused you tears. We should have told you the many ways you are special to us and brighten our days. Through winter and spring, summer and fall, you're always here to help us all. With that, they gathered around the tree and suddenly the tree could see it wasn't as important to be a Christmas tree, but to always be the best friend you could be. And every year to celebrate, they come together on that date to decorate from end to end the special tree that is their friend.